The Zoll AED Plus provides a step-by-step -step process to help you provide life-saving care during sudden cardiac arrests. During a sudden cardiac arrest, every second counts, so your understanding of the following procedures can save someone's life. The AED Plus unit provides voice prompts, call for help, text information and visual indicators to help you perform the correct action at the right time. Remove the lid of the unit by pressing up at the front. Inside the case you will find scissors, an antiseptic wipe, gloves, a razor, a towel, a face shield and the electrode pads. The lid can be used under the patient's shoulders to tilt the head back. Do not use the lid if there is a suspected head or neck injury. The unit is designed to step you through the chain of survival. The first step is to turn the unit on by pressing the power button in the bottom right. The first command you will hear is to check for patient responsiveness. Check responsiveness. Do this by asking the patient to squeeze your hand or asking, are you okay? If you suspect that the person has had a cardiac arrest, then immediately have someone call an ambulance. The next step is to lift the chin and tilt the head back to open the airway. Check breathing by looking at the chest to see if it is rising and falling. Listen and look for airflow exhalation. If the person is not breathing, then follow the AED Plus instructions. You will now need to attach the electrode pads onto the person. Open the sealed package. Note the electrode pads are already connected to the unit. You may need to use the scissors to remove the clothing, and the paper towel is to dry the chest in case of excessive moisture or sweat. Excessive chest hair will need to be shaved off using the razor, as the electrodes need to connect directly with the skin. Unfold the electrode pads as per the diagram. The CPR sensor needs to be on the middle of the patient's breastbone and about a hand span down from the neck. If the patient has a pacemaker inserted, then place the electrode pads approximately 10 centimeters away. Remove the backing tab from behind the electrode pad labeled 2. Press firmly from the center out to make sure it adheres properly to the patient's skin. Do the same for electrode pad labeled 3. If the patient is large or there is a need to place the pad under a breast, you may need to tear away the lower pad at the perforated line. The AED Plus will now assess the state of the patient's heart. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. A shock is required when the heart is beating irregularly and sufficient oxygenated blood is not being pumped to the vital organs, such as the heart and brain. Defibrillation stuns the heart briefly stopping this irregular rhythm in the hope that the heart's internal pacemaker will reset the heart into an effective organized rhythm. In half of all cases of sudden cardiac arrest, the first analysis of the patient advises that no shock be delivered. No shock advised. If there is no sign of circulation, then the unit will advise you to commence CPR. Start CPR. Place your hands on top of the CPR sensor and push down to deliver chest compressions. After your start, the AED Plus metronome will begin issuing timing beeps. Try to maintain synchronization between the beeps and your chest compressions. The display shows how deep you are compressing. If you do not compress hard enough, the AED will tell you to press harder. Push harder. Each compression should fall between the small lines, representing 4 and 5 centimeters in depth. After two minutes of CPR, the AED Plus will then analyze the patient's heart rhythm. If the device advises to administer a shock, you must ensure that no one is touching the patient. Shock advised. Prior to pressing the flashing heart symbol in the center of the device, the operator must call in a loud, clear voice, Stand clear. Stand clear. When the rescuer and all bystanders are clear from the patient, press the flashing shock button. As soon as the shock is applied and any convulsion has ceased, cardiac compressions are to be immediately restarted. Compressions are to be continued until the patient recovers, until other medical assistance arrives, or until the AED determines a further shock is required.